So here with me, I have a 200 watt solar panel, a monocrystalline. If you observe, most of the monocrystalline these days, these are the design for the monocrystalline solar panels. But I'll be showing you one reason why you shouldn't use this 200 watt panel for a twin volt system. And I know a lot of people might have fallen victim of this using a 200 watt solar panel like this, which produce a, an open voltage circuit of 28 volt for a twin volt system. And the reason why most of them doesn't get to work or doesn't charge. So, if you can see, the sticker behind here, this solar panel is this Sunjin brand. I've used this panel before and this is the third time I'm going to use this solar panel. It produces very well. If you can see, it's being rated 200 watts. The open circuit voltage is 28.6 volts and uh, the max rated voltage, which is like a closed circuit voltage, is 23 volts. So the reason why this solar panel cannot work for a 24 volt system is because most of the 24 volt system solar energy system, the battery at float or absorb voltage gets to 28.8 and this solar panel cannot exceed 28 volts. And at times it will even give you 25 volt when the sun is you know low when the weather is very calm so that is the reason this 200 watt panel cannot go for a 24 volt system so we use our digital multimeter to check the voltage coming from this solar panel right now though the weather is very dull this is 5 pm in the evening so we might not get a good result from this test because the sun is already down but we are still going to do the test. So this solar panel, this 200 watt solar panel, will only be suitable for a 12 volt system. If you want to use this for a 24 volt system, you have to series two of these to use it for a 24 volt system. But if you use single of these for a 24 volt system, your battery will not charge. And that is the reason most of the solar energy system doesn't work because the, battery, the, the panel voltage have to be a bit higher than the battery voltage whether you are using pwm or you are using mppt so at least you should have 10 volts higher than your battery volt or 6 volts higher than your battery volt then you get what you want so we are going to be testing this solar panel right now to see the voltage coming from it like i said this is 5 pm in the evening come close so you can see the voltage 24 volt that's 24 points let's say point 0.1 so this will not be able to charge a 24 volt battery system so if you make a mistake and get this type of panel which is a 200 watt and use it for a 24 volt system connecting your panels in parallel your battery will not charge except you have like four or you have like six and you connect two series to get 40 something volt that's when your 24 volt system gets to charge what this panel is trying to tell us is that it's mainly used for a 12 volt system so this panel will not be suitable for a 24 volt system and by this time of uh by this time this solar panel might just be generating one amp from uh the sun because the weather is dull so i'm going to check the amps now to see how many amps coming from uh this solar panel right now though it's 5 pm already the sun is not harsh so you can see we have 1193 milliamp which is around one amp so the current coming is still right not too bad because the sun is already down so don't forget for a 200 watt that produces a voltage below 32 or let's say below 36 volts will not be suitable for your 24 volt system if you want to get a panel to charge your 24 volt system and you want to connect the, the whole panels in parallel to generate more current then the voltage should be around 36 to 38 volts if possible to 45 volts and your 24 volt battery will be charging very well thank you